what you want. You're still hostile. Things will still come after you, but you don't get those nasty, like, you can only stay here so long things. Oh, and uh, for flying, you still have to take the flight, basically fly into the zone. Um, you just, you can, once you get in the zone, you can fly anywhere on, on that realm, basically. It in makes, Shadowlands. In Shadowlands. It makes yeah, the daily quest so much easier, though. Yeah, it's going to be great with, with uh, getting some alts now. <laughs> Yeah, it's really great if all your alts have engineering, so you don't even have to worry about flying. You just teleport to wherever, whichever place you want to go. How, but isn't there a cooldown on that thing? 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought it was like an hour. No, like all the other zone, like all the other zones, the the it was like an hour or even four hours for like, for like uh, uh, Northrend, but Shadowlands is only 15 minutes. Oh, maybe that's why I thought, because I, I have an engineer on, but just she she's pretty old. <laughs> so when I made that uh, something transporter, transportation device, something, and it sounded like it was random, not that you could pick where you went. No, you can pick where you go. It's just there's a random, in the Northrend one, there's a random chance it spawns you up in the air and you fall to your death. Oh, Okay. Yeah. Um, I think Shadow I may Land. have done it that once, and then it, that's what <laughs> happened. So I went, you know, maybe this isn't so useful. <laughs> the Shadowlands one, um, you have to be like in uh, uh, Shadowlands engineering like 40 or something to make it. But then it be goes in your toy box, and you just have to be l trained in, in, in Shadowlands engineering to use it. Uh, uh, did, they, did you see that there's someone in Guild Chat who's interested from Audacia? Uh, yes. Pretty with an extra E. <laughs> oh, that's right. The vanilla ones, when you went to, like, some, the, the ones in original WoW, it would sometimes, like, it would, you are your evil decoy or your evil twin or something. Gusty, do you know them? Pretty? Nope. Uh, but I'm pretty sure Audacia. Oh well, I mean, I don't know Pretty, but Pretty could be an alt. Audacia, I think that's they have a raid team. So if you want to whisper them, nope, Sonara. Nope, that's not it. That's Pretty. Uh, sorry, someone else is whispering me too. what their eye level is. Oh, whoops. What's wrong key? Uh there it says here level fifty one hunter. Oh well. <laughs> Say thank you. Yeah. But unfortunately you have to be oops. talking about recruiting new people is it worth uh mentioning something to kenny that if people are wanting to step up from new braid that hey just we get on like a few hours earlier yeah absolutely I, um i've been recruiting in the doa this or yeah doa the um aie discord and man i haven't got any bites i've talked to about 15 people around and said hey you know we run on Saturday and Sunday. Well, not everybody might be on Discord, but I know when the new braids invites go out that those things blow up. Like they, the there's usually all sorts of people wanting in. Well, I would think you know I I agree. Uh, 
because if they've been running new braid for a while, maybe they're ready to move up. They just need yeah, to be maybe. invited. I, um, that, that's a, a good that's point. That's a good idea. And I try to stay up late enough for new braid. I can't always, yeah, but that's... I will, I will start like mentioning it towards the end of new braid that, you know, a, it's new braid is designed for people who have not rated at all and i'll just mention like hey if you're enjoying this and and want to do some actual raids uh that the doa is actually looking for some people it might not even need to be like at the end of it you could say it probably like you know jump in the aie discord when they're getting the group together and just yep, say I could do by that. the way well, I mean, at the beginning, it, it people who come back every week maybe would be aware of it, but the folks who are just like coming for their very first taste of raiding, <laughs> I don't well, want to scare them off. The, regu the regulars <laughs> is what I was thinking. <laughs> yeah. Because that's what you really want, is you want the people that have done it a couple of times yeah people who come back every week and really look forward to it yeah. and are enjoying it yep and yep. and there are quite a few unfortunately this first so this raid is definitely a step up um the first boss is very healing intensive yeah we discovered that <laughs> very healing we got intensive. Up to 54. yeah and also running intensive <laughs> yes yeah so I guess we have to kill trash all over again. Uh, we didn't. Uh, no. Cause I don't have anima powers and oh, all well, the maybe. trash is. I'm inside. I'm inside oh, the. Oh well, except cause I wasn't here last night. Uh, let me. Yeah, you. So you probably have a new. You've got a new yeah, raid uh, block out. Uh, were you don't, here? Kiss? We can't. Don't give it to me because mine is locked out we discovered last night oh okay <laughs> whoops uh, i've i've done some killing already who who is here uh you kip is standing right next to me yeah is kip, kip here sorry, dave. dave dave was here wasn't he our substitute <laughs> yeah dave dave and uh moggy yeah Moggy's we need here. we need you have to have two tanks for this first fight too oh yeah for really almost all of them we we had some problems with one of you guys had an out of date add on <laughs> which that was wasn't going well. Mog. I was yeah, about to, I was I was gonna join right. and be like, does everybody have their add ons up to date? Right. We were just kind of going through the checklist of yeah. why am I dying? <laughs> Ferry kept dying, and it's like, why you know, why am I why am I keep dying all the time? But it's Everything's always a good. very you know, and you don't want to embarrass anybody, and of, uh, right. I mean, having having personally been that person who was the reason. <laughs> oh, hey, I was the one that spent 30 minutes trying to figure out why Greenwall wasn't working, only to find out that I it was disabled. There you go. Yeah, I, I've definitely we had fun that. last night, did he? We we really kind of had fun. Hey, yeah. that's what it's all about, right? It's a new raid. This is it's just fun. I don't know about the raid, but everybody was. Oh, fun. Hey, you know. Barry had to go and change his talents, and then came back, and then the talents didn't get saved. It yeah, was well. just. Uh, you the, know the what? The game was being really mean. We were. And somebody was having lightning storms. It just. <laughs> oh. We talked about this the other day, right? This this is why we do it. It's not. It's not the content. It's not the game. It's the people. It's the people. Yeah, it's the playing with you guys and that makes it fun. And just remember that. Yeah. It it will All become. Right. Part Professor, you're raid lead. Part of the lore, you know. <laughs> at, at, at the nights, you're kind of like, no, game. not another one. What? I want to just kill things now. And then you know. The next night, it's like, oh man, we're gonna do. Everybody, see my new bird. I love that bird. It's that so is pretty. cool. Where'd that come from? It's a is covenant. It six months. Oh, oh no. Is that it's the six right. months? It's the is Sapphire it? Sky Blazer. Oh. You can get it with a six month subscription. subscription, or you can just buy it. Oh, I got that somewhere. So. Yeah. So, yeah, I like the not special. So, Diddy made me the leader, and I hit the reset instances, but it didn't say anything about the the ray. The it didn't come up with any sort of notification, and I went back in, 
And again, no anima powers, and the trash is all back. Well, we didn't down the boss, so yeah, maybe it wondering. doesn't save anything. Uh, oh, I don't well, know. That's right. Yeah. It doesn't save your lockout, so you did down the first boss, doesn't it? I think we have figured it out. I thought that was... Is it is it cross the daily threshold? Maybe. Uh, this is this thing you're got following you, Gusty. That's a pet. A, a, ball, pet. a wheel? <gasps> yep. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got that one. Oh no, she's, here's the covenant the, pet. There's my new a uh my new covenant mount. Oh, you get a new covenant mount too? At renowned oh, yeah, 45. Oh, wow. Nice. It's a cute little wolfy dragon. It is. He's, uh. We need a noodle wolf. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's a noodle wolf. That's, uh, exactly right. It's a wilder. Wilderling. It's like one of the, um,. That's still my I... Oh, who's that really wonderful director that did like Totoro, I think, and and the little girl one and oh uh, maybe the story? story. Yeah, probably. But the, there's one of them that that there's a the little Miyazaki. girl. Yeah, Miyazaki. There we go. Thank you. There's one with a little girl, and she meets uh, this boy who turns out to be a dragon, and his dragon form looks a lot like that. He's like the West Wind, but he doesn't remember that he's a dragon. We could probably start clearing the trash though, with the in, and while we're sure. seeing if anybody. I think we only need right? one tank. Maybe that's we only it? need one tank for clearing. Yeah, for clearing we can do one. Do it with one, but we'll need another to start the boss. Probably keep posting in guild. <laughs> Might as well start clearing and then that way. Yep, I'm going in. How many will how many more will we need to pull the bus? Well, if Moggy doesn't show up, we'll need another tank. We need ten people and we definitely need at least one ten. of them to be a tank. But fairy. <laughs> yeah. Dave said he could go to tank. He said he could try, you? yeah. And we Don't will you have a tank? Pro probably need at least one more healer. Yeah, even for this many people. We we it, you, we definitely need ten people. <laughs> you, oh, you have to have ten, so... <laughs> yeah. So are we ready to start killing some trash? Yeah, you can go ahead and go kill the oh, trash. Wait, no, stop. I probably should be in resto spec. <laughs> Mm, details. Did I mention those embarrassing things that happened? <laughs> <laughs> you mean like uh, fighting with your fishing pole on? Yes. Which was Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday I did that. Wednesday I had the fishing pole equipped because I was catching fish for uh, for feast. And it was like, why Many is times. this so terrible? I've, I've like done an hour or two's questing and had the same issue. <laughs> You kicked oh. me off. I tried to fly. It wouldn't let me go into. And I have no mana because I just traded. Oh. I'm jumping back through the portal if I can. <laughs> you should just spawn be... inside when you die, right? Yeah, you'll be right at the top. <sighs> I was just running away to leave you all to your doom. Might be a good idea. Oh, yeah. Another thing about this fight is you gotta do a lot of... Uh... A lot of interrupt. Yeah. Oh, and somebody has to have the heart.
If we get everybody like the tank and the numbers, I've got I can switch to Saint Prof for healing. I just would like to do uh play the mage. It's all about you playing who you want to play. Do I need to grab that other little guy? The one that's up here? Hit me? No. He just made some bad poo. Why is he not dying? He is, but also slowly. Isn't there one? Maybe it's not this one. That if you pull him too far, he resets. Well, it's on his platform. So it should be fine. I, I seem to remember. Oof. Ouch. He thinks he's a rogue. He keeps kicking. No car. <laughs> I thought you were going over. <laughs> Same. I got strong groups. <laughs> Middle of the stairway. <laughs> What well, can I take all three of these? These are the three I want. Ooh. All three of them. Oh, I always like the endurance though. You get uh, increase your maximum well, health by forty-five percent. Tank should you know, always take good. that. Well, the thing is, all three of these are the three tank anima powers that one would want. No, well, you've right. Got you got three other, three other. Yeah, you got three other bosses, or yeah, three other ads to get it oh, from. Oh man, shield you thirty percent of your maximum health. Well, I'll go with stone. Yes. I got the not jumping one, but it gives your stats like thirty percent more. Right. Yeah. I don't think we jump on this particular bus. Which way do we want to go? Left or right? Who's tanking? They uh, get to choose. Yeah, tank choose. Take away. Since you asked, I came up. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Not okay, you're very easy to heal in that form. <laughs> yeah, if you, like, if you miss me, I, I can't help you. It looks like these dark casters have a uh, shield, a magic shield that needs to be cleansed or stolen. Ooh, if How's only that? we had someone who could spell steal, that sounds fun. Hey, I was doing it, but it stacks like three times. Yeah, I can't oh. I can't steal it, but I can remove it. I removed one, but... That's why that other one was taking forever to die, because we were fighting without you. I get so excited when I find something I can spell steal on my mage, because it seemed like for a long time there weren't any. And I forgot I could even do it. Do you feel like there, there are enough opportunities? Honestly, spell still is one of those I forget to use. Yeah. I'm a terrible mage that way. No, I think that they just they they stopped having a very many. So you just you know you don't ever have an opportunity to use it, and then it's like, what's that button mean? Oh, spell steal. Oh, I can still do that. <laughs> it's their own fault. I mean, I, I click the wrong button when we're trying to portal somewhere and end up teleporting myself. So I mean, I think that's like <laughs> every mage does that. Or, yeah, <laughs> or they step, you know, they, they create the correct portal, but then they accidentally step through it, <laughs> and it goes away. <laughs> I have seen that happen on many an occasion. Well, we, you know, I mean, it seems like uh, Professor's tanking skills are getting better. <laughs> hey, man, you put me in some plate, let's go. I don't move that much. What do you think, Twitch? Should we let him, to let him tank? Maybe next time. Terragru's kind of a big boy. I don't think we need to do the insides. No, we don't. Okay. La yesterday we were just doing them in the hopes of BOE gear. Oh, well that's true too. This is his new raid all, what is it, 207 to start or something like that? 226. Yeah, we didn't, we didn't find any in this stuff, but that doesn't mean it didn't exist. Doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Sure. Also, it's not like we're in a hurry to hit the boss. <laughs> that's true. We still need two more people. <laughs> Yeah, anyone else? No one said they wanted to come. I have not gotten any uh, any hits except for Pretty, who's <laughs> not quite high. Has anybody checked the Discord to see if somebody's saying they were coming late? Uh, the only thing in Discord was somebody saying they were on their way. Pull them down here so we don't get the big guy. Uh, well, Mez says she's she's coming, so. Yeah, she actually was having. Oh, she's here. Oh, she she's said... in. Never mind. Yep. She's priesting her little my arms up. Yeah, so that was the only uh, Discord. She will be out next week. Yeah, Theory and I will be <laughs> out probably next Saturday also. So all the more reason where we should maybe reach out to where's the tank? Yeah. Is that the 17th? Yeah, that's 17th. Well, once 
once we get the past a month or two, it might start getting better. Yes, summer is hard anyway. He and people are starting to do live things again. Yeah, we saw Black Widow um, so, yeah, uh, Friday, and that's our first theater experience in over a year. Woo! We had uh, everybody over at our house, and I got the Disney Plus access, and we made like hot dogs and, and uh, popcorn to make it like a movie theater. Oh, nice. nice. That's fun. I didn't get an invite. What's that all about? Yeah, we had our kids over today to watch the uh, soccer game. That was nice. We haven't had the game in a while. I think the very first one of these uh, big guard thing is harder than the others. Yeah, well, we also had a lot more ads. Groups. Yeah, the problem is, is when you pull at the bottom of the stairs, it grabs all five of them at, together. All right, here we go. Hey, I got the oddly intangible key again. Excellent. This does not have ads, right? The Terra Guru, it's just him, right? So something that interrupts spells is probably not going to be very useful. No. Yeah, he has a ton of them. Wait, wait which, which one, one are you talking about? The one you talking the about one? Howler? Uh, uh, that can be that's... helpful. Yeah? Yeah, the, the ever beating heart's the one you really want, but. Well, yeah, but that's not here. It's, uh, it's either. That's for the chain. It's the Howl, it's Elithium Diffuser, which inflicts shadow damage equal to 50% of the damage I take, which is. Not bad, except I can't step backwards, and I might want to do that, and or maximum yeah. health. Uh, and looking, the looking at Mythic and... Trap, it says very strong damage from this anima. If you pick it, play in melee range. Expected at DPS around. Not happening. DPS. <laughs> yeah. Not a melee druid, but thank you. I'll remember it for. And, and sorry, was that the Howler or the it's the Lithium Diffuser? That was the Howler. Okay. Yeah. And that's if, on scroll, if, if if you if you scroll down, like I have the mythictrap.com, and if you click on the terror group fight and scroll down, they list all the. I have it clicked for DPS specific. You might do different if you're on select healer or tank, um, and it, it categorizes what are like the best. Nice, I will have to check them out. So I just keep alt tabbing every time we get a new power. Alright, I'm gonna take that one based on your recommendation. I'm not DPSing, but it, I mean, didn't seem like there was any that was specific to my needs. Oh, are we taking the other side now? I'm just going where there's trash. Sorry.
Ready for the big guy? Did you get punted off the edge? I saw him go flying. Yep. Yeah, I, I really did. So I was like, oh, better move. I had my warning. I did not heed it. And now I'm walking back. I've got a never beating heart. You, you can ride back. Oh, lumbering. Oh, corn. That's a mount. Okay. Like a good one, right? <laughs> yeah. Like so much I, you know, almost. As long as you have the other one. Almost, I want somebody to take fine. it to see what it does. You will not be, yeah. During the hundred percent, hundred phase, hundred percent phase, whatever it is, the last phase, you will bump everybody off the platform. Well, we discovered so last night that, that there's an ability that negates that, so it negates right. the bad part. I gotta go get my. I never heard of that. So that was interesting to know that there are times when you can get it. If you do get a want to test out one of the no-no, uh, you can click it off and then you run back and open the thing again and you'll have three new powers to choose from. But you gotta go around to all four. <laughs> right. Thank you, I didn't remember that part. Which has anybody gotten the the heart? Because we might I just have did. to. Oh, okay. I don't and know. And we have fearing, but we gotta stop. It's one of the casters. Yeah, I got feared. Then I got stuck on the edge, and then I got feared again. Maybe somebody took the lumbering thing. <laughs> no, I was being feared. Oh, looks like Mez got the the ever beating heart as well. Great. Which so I think is got... probably better for healers to have it, anyways. It is, yeah. So I am just going to, uh, if I have the ability to mark, I'm gonna put a uh, a mark <clears> over <throat> my head and. I'll put one over on Mez, and so if he targets you with chains... Well, yeah, ideally you two should like stand next to each other so that people can just stand yeah, behind you. Yeah, we that put a mark on the floor, and and I stood on the yeah, mark, that's, and the person, that's had, what we did the person yesterday. had to get we behind me. We put a mark me. on the floor, and we just stood, you know, me and the other person that had it just stood basically right next to it. Yeah, you just have to remember if you get the other thing to let people know that they stand back a little bit behind you. Whatever the purple circle is. Your circle. Yeah, we, we eventually figured that part out. It's always something with this, you know? Ready for the big guy? the edge. <laughs> I just almost did that. It's gonna take me a minute. I gotta go get my iPad. See what these are. No, I don't Ooh, care. I, got a I don't jump anyway.
All right, I need to be by the group because I'm gonna do. I got the one that does more damage if you're next to people. No, I have it too. Does it stack? You know? Well, I, I doubt it because it's as long as you're within people, ha, ha, ha. damage and stuff is increased. Well, that's the thing that puts the green stuff in between people. So if you got. Green lights that connect these people, so you can see how many. If you're connected more than once, it then it stacks. Oh, no. okay. Yes. Are we going to continue clearing to the other entrance for him? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what wait. these are. I oh, got, sorry. I got new ones that I hadn't seen before, so I got to look up and see what they are. Yeah. I was thinking of another twisted samo flange. Flange? Yeah, that's what I got. I I'm happy. That one stacks. Does that apply to yourself? Well, you buff at people who are near you. Three around you. While in combat, the three nearest other players within 10 yards get 15% increased damage and healing. Alright, wow. so the tanks will be up by him, the rest of us will be in a nice little clump. Well, except for those gigantic purple circles of fear. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Just have to run out of those. The person He's the actually good to be nearby when when he like puts all the poop on the floor and we have to run for the little not poop areas. That stuns evil. 12 seconds? Yes. <laughs> okay, so we definitely have tons of people who have the heart now. <laughs> well, for me, it's sad that it gets rid of all the stun effects. Yeah, I was definitely stunned. And as a tank... I died then and died. It's a long way to run around. You can cut through the tear cruiser room as long as you don't get too close. Oh, oh that's good to know. Many deals for a friend of the Rumble, <laughs> like you. Boy, I'm dying lots. You don't have any healers with you. You're there. What's the deal? No healers. Uh, because everyone was dead, so we were all running back, except for Diddy. Many farewells. 
did it! I came through the terrorist room! I feel so cheeky! That's so cute, that little backpack on your mount! <laughs> I love that. Uh, have we heard anything more from Augie? I uh, don't know. Nope. Oh, no. I'm not sure I'm a fan of all this trash. We spend over 30 minutes just... Yeah. <laughs> well, but we're kind of killing time because... Yeah, we yeah I know, but... Yeah, no, not too much. <laughs> In, on future weeks, I think we will not so much bother. <laughs> well, if we had 20 people, it's still the same amount of trash. Well, we're gonna go into Terra Grove so now. Cool. Yeah. We wouldn't have bothered with any of this. We hey, just killed the hey, four guys in the time. If you were to yank the closest one over, do we still get all five? Probably. Usually they're linked. Yeah. But sometimes not. I turned to blood so I could use Gorfine's grasp. Oh, that was nice. Hey, look, I like that. That's a nice little connection circle, isn't it? I love that. Maybe that's the solution to a lot of this uh, trash. Is just oh, that was sweet. I've posted on the Where's the Tank group finder uh, channel of their Discord, just saying that we were looking for two more. Oh, that's good. actually that's a good idea. That is a great idea. Let me go to, let me go do that at Filthy too. Yeah, um, Air joined us last night, and somebody else. Legendary. Legendary, well, yeah. that's it. Legendary that's and Gex. Cow name. <laughs> Loved her accents. Yeah. Oh, and Gex too. That's right, Ashaya. Both of them from Australia. They're at work because it's Monday morning for them. No. That was a sad realization that for someone it was already Monday. <laughs> hey, does anyone see there's this upper reaches that's locked? Uh, that might be part, maybe part of the raid that we have to do some bosses. Because I think there is a middle part that we can choose which ones to go to, like, like in Nathria. What is the, all this green stuff I see all the time? That's one of the abilities. Yeah, but what, what ability is it? You get 15% uh, percent extra damage and healing done. Sweet! With the three, with, for me, it's the three nearest people. Yeah, the but three I think, nearest people, but it does I think stack. A couple, yeah, there's a couple of people who have it, so we had a big old healing circle. <laughs> and DPS buff circle. <laughs> It looks quite nice when we're all linked with that big purple bird, too.
I think Gusty likes that too. Look at her DPS. If I actually cast some DPS spells, imagine. Woo! Why is your DPS so high? He's double or triple buffed. Oh, I'm probably getting a buff from you. It's probably your DPS is counting as mine. <laughs> nice! Except, yeah, we have about the same DPS. I see that, like, all the people that are linked to me, I'm getting a, uh... A re cut of that. Okay, now I'm actually DPSing. Yeah, these mobs got a whole lot easier, Dave, when you started using your... whatever that's called. We haven't gotten anything yet. Nothing yet. We got one. Oh. Look at that. I, I think just, Phil I just got picked one. up. I just got one. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a cosmetic. Thing. Oh, it's cosmetic. But it's the thing that is confirmed that they do drop stuff. Oh, that's so cool. Those are pretty spiky. Those are very spiky. I see. It, this is the other realms of Torghast, is what these locked doors are. Uh. See, because this one says, like, twisting corridors. Yeah, we're in... Oh, that's the very... I guess, then. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's just thematically that's the rest of Torghast. Yeah, this is supposed to be the top. The oh, top right, level. yeah, because we're on the top of the, the, uh, the spire right now, right? Yeah. God, I hate this place. <laughs> if I get good abilities, I think it's kind of fun. Well, yeah. But I do low, I do low levels. Uh, I think they've, they've... And haven't they fixed it so that you can at least get something, even you, if you're... Or... Yeah, you always get something now. And I think they removed the number of deaths, right? Yeah, there's no death counter. The terror group oh. doesn't not there anymore. He's here. He's here. Ah. I think they took out one of the floors. I think there's only five. Oh, what? no. Well, yeah. There's, there's six, but there's there's but five. There's, there's, bonus there's only floors. five you now get, instead you of get eight. A bonus floor, yeah. If if you get a certain score on the five, then you unlock a six. I personally have never seen the sixth. <laughs> I haven't been in there yet. I, I should sure tell you how I do to uh, uh, gas. I was like, that's sweet. It's <laughs> only five levels now. Woohoo. Yeah, the Twisting Nethers, that's the uh, endless one. No, it's Twisting Corridor. Twisting car. Yeah, that's the endless one. The endless one. We're, we're in there. And by endless, and it just, it's just eight, uh, 18. Right. Which feels endless. <laughs> it does. Well, we went in one time. I don't know if Keith has been in there since then. And when it started, we'd go with everything's going fine, and all of a sudden we'd be one shot out of nowhere. This one mob, every time you try to engage it, would one shot you. Only those two can avoid. Um, it was in a way where we couldn't avoid it very easily. But I figured, oh, if they're going to put something in here that's just going to one-shot you, and you can't tell what it is until you get there. A lot it's of like... times that a lot of times that happens, uh, I found in some of the groups I'm running, is that if you haven't been clearing enough to get the anima powers to make you stronger, 
because like we had oh no we were we collected everything oh okay because if you don't get the right ones and i was right yeah if you don't get the right powers because like we i was doing one i think it was twisting corridors where our tank had less hit points than i did as a mage because he just didn't get or didn't choose the right anima powers so he was just oh no left and right i always stack uh uh, health and and uh, damage reduction. Okay, so what are we doing? Talking to each other. <laughs> we have eight. We need ten. Yeah. I got nothing out of uh, filthy casuals except Jen saying um, will she get anything if she goes yeah Dave you probably have to be in tank spec to get the tank powers yeah, if you switch um, roles, you have to drop your anima powers and go back and get them. Is ever beating heart a good or bad one for a tank? Um, well, well, I took it as a tank. And that means I don't have to get out of the way of it. So I think it'd be one of those if you've got a better option, we don't necessarily need it because we've got plenty of people. Right. But they if don't the other disagree. ones suck, then... This time they did when I took it. It's like... <laughs> so, but anyway... I smell of death itself. Stinky. Do you want to take a five minute break? Okay, yeah, why don't we, um, well, we're bumping up on, on break time, so why don't we take a break, see if, uh, we get some, anybody straggles in, and, uh, if not, then we'll talk about what we want to do. We'll just break up into two tour gas groups. <laughs> I was going to say, do you know what, um, it certainly wouldn't suck to be able to upgrade our legendaries and that that uh, includes running Torghast to get to the last so no, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world yeah you, they're gonna go up to six now oh I love the spectral oats <laughs> alright Um, no, you you can simply go right to the highest level, um, but you've got to, like for for every legendary, it costs a certain amount of um, whatever that currency is to turn into the jailer. So for level one through four, you need just that currency, and I think to go to a immediately to level four, yeah, it's like five. 1,100 blah blah blahs um, and then for five, level 5 and level 6 you need that many of the first currency plus a, a new amount of the second new currency that is just coming out
So if you didn't get the upgrade, or if you, if you didn't get the legendary yet, you're saying with these new things, you, you can just get it and the upgrade. Yep. So Soul Ash is the former currency that is still that you need to craft your legendary. So um, you can either craft it. The lowest one is 190, and then the up until. 9.1 the highest was 235 and to go straight to the 235 eye level legendary was 5100 soul ash so now there's a level five and level six i don't think any no piece of some people have unlocked the ability to craft a level six already it's really hard but there are a few and those are the ones on the auction house for like 560,000 gold. Um, but uh, yeah, because you have to get um, rep and buy it from the um, archivist dude in Corthia. You, you buy a doodad that enable makes you able to craft the higher level ones highest. So to craft those is you personally, once you buy the legendary, it will take Soul Ash plus the new currency Soul Cinders. Both of those come from Torghast. And I think you can get them other places too, because I have some. <laughs> I don't think I've done Torghast on Gusty this week. I think you, you get a few when you're doing certain quests in, in uh, the Maw or, or stuff in Corthia. Um, so like to make a level six it'll be if if you haven't it's a brand new legendary it's 5100 soul ash plus x amount of soul cinders but if you already have one that you're simply upgrading to level five and six it's less soul ash but i think still cinders you and I last talked. It's you, super you, complicated. Yeah, you gave me the breakdown, and yeah. I, my conclusion was that this is way too much effort. Well, it's pretty important. Um, you should probably get at least one on your main spec, but on the other hand, it's not... If you don't want to deal with it, it's really a good idea to look for a level 235 legendary. If you don't want to get it, that that's level 4. If you don't want to bother with the cutting edge level 6, fine. Um, but it would be a good idea to get the level 4s, which are going to plummet in price. Um, and so to, to gather the, and that you just need the one currency, um, and it, 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 it'd be good. They're, they're worth it. Um, I don't have a legendary on my new Alliance Druid yet, but I know what I need. She, she doesn't even have the uh, memory yet to be able to craft the one she wants. But, Which is the uh, piece you get at the auction house? That's your your legendary rune carver here. So the thing is, uh, here's are, are you here with us still? I'm on yeah. the egg. Okay, uh, if you hop, I I have my brudo, so pop in there and look for armor, and then your your mail right. Mm-hmm. And then the first one up the, the top is rune carving. Okay. And then you search there. However, um, you you make your legendary. Um, you want to check which legendary you make it from a memory that you've received, for, and and you get them from all different places. A lot of them drop in Torghast, but specific memories drop from specific bosses. And there are different ways to get them. Um, some are in, in there's there's a couple of really important ones that drop in Nathria. There's some that are quests. There's some uh, from the Maw. There's some um, you can buy one from Venari. So you you want to check like um, five, four, icy veins three, or two, um, Wowhead or one of those places, whatever's your favorite, to just get a sense of what the best legendary for 
uh, what your preferred. If you're only going to make one, your main spec, just find which is the best legendary for your main spec. Um, each legendary can only, each memory can only be crafted into either uh, two or three items so it's like you can't put every memory on greaves there are some that go on pants and arms and shoulders um and they can be on rings and backs but like the each one yeah can only be on certain things the memories are all listed in your journal or your adventure guide you can see what they all are and, and where you can get them oh that's good too a little fun fact for legendaries you can have a legendary back, which is actually cloth. Yep, you can craft some of them on your back. Like, so, for Gusty, um, for... I was just looking this up, what, what I need to do. Um, I currently have my legendary... It's my hat, and I wasn't wearing it. I'm a derp. Somehow, switching gear. All right, so my current legendary is on my head, and it's Vision of Unending Growth. Um, however, I because in this raid, uh, we're going to get the uh, get gear that we can add a socket to. It'll have a socket, and we can put really good gems in. So... You don't want to have your legendary be on your helm, your shoulders, your chest, or your feet. I think that's it. So now I need to recraft my legendary that I've spent all this money and time on uh, to make it on my legs. Yeah, that's what it is for me too, is I have to put it on Greaves. I actually have the vessel. I just don't have the... Um, soul ash to do it yet there you go but i mean yeah i'm i'm not freaking out because we're just starting this raid so i'm not even going to have enough soul ash to craft it yet um but it's just what i'm gonna work towards and there's uh i think the uh the boomkin uh one of the two best goes is best to put on a ring so I'm going to work on that. And then I am also working on getting uh, the Guardian Druid legendary that makes you practically unkillable at running Torghast because I run Torghast solo in bear spec. Uh, and I only do about like level 5, but it, it, <laughs> I just run through <laughs> and rah 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 smap. And uh, it's pretty, and that's without a legendary. But I am working. It's just that 9.1 came out, and I'm like, up. Oh, Solash is going to my main spec, but I'm gonna make that eventually. There you go. Thank so, you, Dave. So what's the difference? We got Solash, Soul Senders, yes, and Stygian Embers. I. Hmm. The embers are those for your embers for your... are for five and six. Okay. Right, level five oh, and six I of your was... legendary. I thought that was cinders, but okay. Just cinders. I could be wrong. It's probably well, I more. I probably don't have near enough to do anything with them anyway, so maybe I'll figure it. Out, you know. Probably more we'll likely more. than I'm wrong, but. <laughs> Hey, I'll just see somebody posted in the guild chat. Okay, it's cinder, uh, cinders for your legendary. Used to fuel the real ca uh, carver's chambers. Now the other one, sting. What do we got? We got four healers. Three healers. Three is probably enough for ten, right? Yes. Especially a two fourteen warlock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
But that gives us nine. Oh, damn it, math. Ah, the sword will fetch balls. That's awesome. Mm. Oh, right. The missives, you need to, to craft them. Yeah, I, I have the missives. I just, I just need the soul ash to do it. Hmm. Do we run a run Torghast like on a Thursday or something? Uh, well, you can, but I can't because that's another raid night for me. Uh, so we're going to need to summon Beller? Yeah, give me. Um, I'm looking. For another person? <laughs> yes, but. to give him the discord uh oh, that'd be nice i'm just running outside i'll be ready to summon if someone wants to come all out. right who wants to do a box A box? They have like dual box where you play two at the same time. Oh, dual box. I'm sorry. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where's the airbox? He said he was home. Already pinged Alex. He, uh, he said no. Oh, I called him a chump. The lords march on the altar of domination. Join us and lead the charge. This is Mythic's night for BLTN, so. They're not oh, available. Did anybody give Baylor our Discord? I did, yep. I think he was just doing. And there we go! Might as well wait to see <laughs> we need to summon somebody else. Hello! Hey, Gusty. Thank you for joining. If you want to run in, we've got the anima powers all unlocked. We're just, we need one more person to pull Terragru. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for your um, guidance on the legendary. I'll, I'll look into it again, see what I can do to make that happen for, for me. Soul Ash, I have a, I think, just under 2,000. So looks like I have a little uh, uphill climb on that department. Yeah, that's the, to me, that's the big Me uh, too. Like, I, I big do it hurdle. like once a week, and it's just, I don't necessarily hate it, but I don't do it at high level. I, I, I do either. level five. Those are pretty easy, but it still takes about an hour. I don't think you get cinders unless you do a level nine and above. Really? That's gonna suck. Uh, did I get? Just, if you cinder? if you only are interested in the level four, then just do yeah, what then you're five. Do. Don't 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 make yourself crazed. Right. Yeah. 
you may end up i i've got some cinders so something i've done that wasn't in there is giving them to me yeah i just went and looked i have a few but i don't know where they came from i can't uh, the probably, in the probably, uh, probably the yeah either assaults or some sort of questing and, and i did the assault did that's he, for sure but what was that chest we got last night yeah there there was one of them in the chest last night yeah, I got 50 from the chest. That's. Did he get style beef? Oh, uh, oh, and guild chat. Okay. I love the names people come up with. They're awesome. I know. And Torin seems to bring out the... It does. The most cool. <laughs> it's absolute... I have a Torin that's absolutely my, uh, my most clever name of all my characters. Um, his name is Fungiform. Oh, right. The Mad Cow. Yes. <laughs> We, uh, I had a tank in another guild, and uh, <laughs> his name was interrupting. <laughs> Our character was female, <laughs> so it was interrupting Cal. <laughs> we have a mage portal inside. Oh. A warlock portal. I uh, that's fine. I understood. Stop it. Beth. Yes, I will be summoned 5P. <laughs> <laughs> Always the best. Um, oh, do we have peace? No. Did somebody grab peace? I, I'm not in the guild. Well, I can toss the guild chest down. I, I'm not sure there are any in there, but maybe there are. Uh, and we don't have. Uh, I have. I mean, we have we've called. Got games. like another. Oh, okay. I was gonna say we've only got 45 minutes left, so. <laughs> True. Oh, that's right. Tonight's 10. Well, we can take a couple looks at Terragrun. Oh. Uh, if we get tell somebody. Him we're, we're done. Yeah. There we go. Where would they put the feast if they were to put them in here? We have, remember, it's we have two tabs, so. Well, I went to the the bottom, the raid team tab. Yeah, it'll be the, well, it's the last two tabs now. Uh, raid, raid okay. viewers asking for an, another tab and decided yeah okay. the, whole. the next to the last tab has mats okay. so I don't uh, not seeing feast uh, probably not worth doing so for just the little bit we have right yeah
Well, he can tank and uh, Dave can go back to DPS. That'd be cool. Sure. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let me give him the uh, Discord. Wow, who stuck shade stones in there? Thank you. Somebody was making them earlier in the raid. I might have put some in his coochie from Gusty, but I don't remember. <laughs> That reminds me I should try to make one and see if I've got the meds. I can make, um, embalmer's oil and shadow whatever oil. So I can do that. Yeah, Style, you can run around and pick up your anima powers. Also, has Baylor done that? I already did. Just be careful not to take the lumbering or the sump to ten towers. Okay, no problem. Because those, uh... <laughs> yeah, sorry, <they> Dave. <laughs> yeah. You're in around change yours earlier. You're just getting well. your steps in. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. Yes, thank you for uh, joining us. Appreciate it. It's a pleasure. All right, let's go take a look at Terragru. You guys saw this last night, right? Yes. We got him down to about 50, 54%. Okay. Style, have you well, seen this one? We have at least three of us that weren't here last night. Okay, that's what I was going to ask is was, who wasn't here? Nakar was not. Okay. So, um, uh, this one is forward, except for the huge frame rate issue that will come up. Yeah, um, so style and theory, uh, you'll be, uh, swapping on overpower. You guys, yep, you guys have it. All right, well. Uh, deadly boss mod. <laughs> DBM will, will if you've got the right version. From what I understand, DBM yells at you. It, it like screams swap now. So, unless you're not up to date. Yes. <laughs> if you're not up to date, the other tank keeps dying. Uh, we let's tested see. this. It's true. <laughs> so. And just by up to date means pre nine point one. <laughs> God, I love you guys. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, you'll get purple swirlies around you. Please stand away from people. Uh, if you get those, those will fear anybody in the circle when it happens. Um, the big, uh, mechanic on this is that Thergru will pick somebody and will mark them for chains. Um, you will get a little blue arrow, pointed arrow over your head. Uh, we will designate a spot that people that have the interrupt will stand on. Please stand behind them. If they have the purple circle, rem uh, make sure you stand behind the purple circle. Uh, you're standing behind them so that they can intercept the, the chains that come out. Uh, a note to that. Uh, we have two, right? Fairy, we have fairy two. Fairy has... Fairy has the ever beating heart as well. So melee people can stand behind Fairy. Yes. You can use immunities if you want to ice block, if you just want to stand where you're at and ice block or turtle, 
those will will mitigate that that uh, mechanic if you want do you want to put a tag over a fairy so that in the middle of a fight if melee are there need to know which one is the tank too yeah put a purple diamond Oops. over theory also can we have a raid mark up about where his uh left foot is and just barely just in front of his left foot sure that way we can get him repositioned after whatever that how's that I figure what it's called where you go to the little white patches and then you that way we can immediately get him repositioned the intermissions the other foot his left foot oh his left foot not our left foot okay so styled beef has a blue triangle and then there you put one on the ground so those are both the people wait so, shouldn't it be theory style yeah put a purple over theory so the melee can get behind me and i do theory it. but i did there you go all right no you're good um so the, the ever beating cart that are right. intercept are going to be on that yeah the blue, blue is there. for the uh for the chains right right and the purple is also for the chains but for melee right you can stand behind theory if you're in melee he also has the uh ability um he is going to be right there uh, under that blue square as right. much as she can be and uh get there if you've got chains okay uh there will be the room will get dark uh at certain times uh which are called the intermissions there will be a light patch on the floor it always happens at the points of those marks on the floor you look at this see the four things pointing in at him the light patches always happen at those marks there is a slight yellow color that you can see of where the patch is going to be uh, it happens right before it's pretty quick um but there usually is plenty of time to get to it uh that's pretty much the fight there is a debuff that happens um what is it called the one on him or predators on how one? predators how which is a fear that can be um purged if somebody has that ability do we have anybody yes i can yes. but i it has a cooldown so it has a cooldown right usually put on two people right so you just so one person out. one person it's just easier to move out because if you don't move in the circle nobody gets it um at 10 percent he will berserk and remove all of your anima powers all you can do is just kill him <laughs> uh he will run around and one shot people so you have to kill him in a 10 percent from 10 percent on um it is a just a dps check at that point so try to get to that point with everybody alive does anyone have the oddly intangible key i have it this power means that you do not need to play the 100 energy phase of the encounter it also means that you can use lumbering form which increases your damage by 30 percent without knocking people in the raid around oh i actually didn't know that but okay that's cool let's do this all Are right good? let's give it a shot that's pretty much it that's the uh extent of it this is pretty healer intensive um there's a constant pulsing damage that goes out all the time uh that we just have to heal through so Terry, when you're ready oh there did you get your okay um let me promote you to tank And style, let me promote you. Style's probably a better tank than I am. 
No, I, don't, I wouldn't say that yet. All right, there you go, guys. So people in raid in healing frames can find you. Thank Have you. at it. Let's see it a couple times. Someone gonna throw a countdown timer? Oh, sorry. Leroy! Five, Leroy! Four, Jenkins! Three, two, one. Oh, sorry, lust on the top, please. Somebody. Thank you. Alright, transition coming. Nice. That was easy. Yeah. Rinse and repeat. on Mez. Oh, there he's down. Pick him up, please. I uh, already... Oh, already used it? Alright. Oh, oh, there he... <laughs> he went down again. <laughs> I, I think when, once move. style gets the over... One. Overpowered, it'll be over. Nobody get in front of me because I, I have my immunity. Right. Stay in the black stuff. Yeah, just stand it. Just go ahead and like that. Oh, okay. I was just kind of practicing, but I'm good. But we can practice, sure. Yeah, if you want to oh, practice. That's right. practice. Thanks for that tip on where they spawn. I didn't realize oh that. Was Yeah, it's just like a little yellow patch underneath the dark, and you can just oh, barely well, see I it. Oh, what they look like. I just didn't realize that they always spawn on those spots. Yep. The easiest thing to do is when he starts casting it, there is a little bit of a downtime that you have before it starts. Move into the inner circle because it, it, it goes off really quick. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, Diddy, can we change the, the green mark to maybe red? Sure. Sure, sure, sure. The colors, it wasn't wasn't easy to wasn't spot. Wasn't easy to pick up? Sure. No problem. better oh did yes. you want to put down the, um, the oh cauldron? yeah jeez do you guys want yeah let's use a flask sorry i didn't even think about it oh now i gotta find them we only have 30 minutes i know we can uh somebody was gonna do something else when we finished was that date you know, dave Yeah. Grab one, drink it, take another. Ah, 
just like mama used to make. All right, that was some good Kool Aid. I'm telling you. Time for a Leroy yet? All right. All right, not, I'm new to this this raid leader thing. <laughs> You're doing great, Daddy. You're doing great. Right. I'm new to this tanking thing, so. Everybody's ready. Transition incoming. Transition yeah, it worked. Move in. Straight across. Two. Oops. Sorry, Kiss. Didn't mean to do that. I do need you, but saving it for tanks. On practice. High energy. One. Gained on Gusty. And here comes Smith. I'm not gonna accept the res, just... Oh, sorry. Until, All right. until after. after. You died, you died mid, uh... Mid, as I was casting, and my healing add-on changes it to a rebirth if it's... If I'm in the midst of casting a <laughs> heal. All my healers go. <laughs> Did you say we have recovery? I well, I mean, we just recover right here anyway. If you're lazy. Yeah, you Actually, met me. <laughs> I was just uh, researching how to get the um, Brazier of Awakening because uh, my newer characters don't have it. So I looked it up and it's super easy. And I think I'm gonna do like a, a guild event for like, hey, <laughs> let's all go there. <laughs> hey, Gusty, when's the next uh, pet event? Uh, I'm so glad you asked. It's they were going to do a pet safari as part of Summer of Love, oh. which is coming up at the end of this month. Awesome. So the awesome. I think it's the 28th. No, we're going to do Running of the Beef the 28th, and uh, the pet event will be that weekend, that Saturday, on cool. both Alliance and Horde. Cool. Looking on the plus side, we got to 64%. Yeah! That was right. nice. Do it again. I forgot to lust in the beginning. I'll do it again this time. That's right. I got it. I well, can do it. Well, you a couple of seconds in so people can get established. Four, 
Three, two, one. Transition incoming. Good job, good job guys. Can we handle chains? Good. Ears incoming. Chains on Gusty. You got it? Alright. Transition. Transition. Which is the dark stuff. Oh, it's coming back up. Or not. Sorry. Oh, where oh, did I things go? I thought we'd take a nap. It was getting boring. All right. Run, prof. Hey, there you go. 51%. Our best jet. Uh, thanks for the bridge. <laughs> Yeah, I can, uh, I can do Stampeding Roar, but it's got a two-minute cooldown, so it's only one of them. Uh, Baylor, can we get lock cookies? Uh, well, friend of the Grummel. So, I'm Thank gonna you, plan to Stampeding Roar on the second one. The first one, people are coming from all different places. So I don't think it's that useful, but the second one, maybe it can be. Yeah, that's a good idea. Absolutely. Dave, you're probably thinking of yesterday we had it. Yeah, I had it yesterday. That could, that could be it. Yeah, there's one of the anima powers that you can get. I didn't see it this time. Uh, that gives everybody speed. 
Yeah, I think that's why we were. I was like, why is it so much harder tonight than it was last night? I think we had two people with it. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. Just mean transition. transition. That was far. No, nah, I didn't make it. Big butt was in the way, I couldn't see where it was. Yeah, that didn't go well. Chains on Balor. That's fine. Okay. He's fine. Transition. Right. 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 Three, 
two. High energy. One. around this long enough sir yeah, yeah all right. right come on let's go ahead and pipe it up the, the boot up. uh for the last couple runs i'd be willing to swap to saint prof if we want to get an extra healer in oh i think we're needing dps well if the dps i'll stay up I think we're getting better at it. Yeah, that one. Well, the tanks definitely stayed alive a lot longer. Yeah, we we got a bad uh, transition there. The very first uh, very first intermission. For some reason, he did his stun right as that was happening, and like a couple of us got stunned in the in the transition, which. But help. a couple people were willing to try and re-roll to get the running power, so that might help too. Well, we've only got 10 minutes. Can I get an explanation of the chains again? Uh, one person will get targeted with chains. Um, somebody that has the intercept will be standing at blue. You want to stand behind the blue marker. So the that person under, or near the blue or, marker. or behind the purple diamond or behind the purple diamond um because they will intercept the chains and you won't get hit if you get hit with the chains it's basically a one shot okay so when that happens two people have one to move chain. to a certain spot is that correct well he the has the immunity that will protect whoever has chains one so you need they should already be there they yeah, should I'm, be already at blue, blue. If I'm not directly under it, it, sometimes I have to move a little if somebody has the um, purple circle of fear. And and who else is it that has it? Is it Kith? Nope. I did. So, Theory. Theory has it. Sorry. Oh, Here, why okay, don't we... so it's not a... The, the immunity and is not Mez. a sign. I guess it, Mez has it we also. have going into the... Fight. Yeah, it's one of the anima powers. Oh, okay. It's an enema power, and so somebody needs to soak the chain that is coming towards you to protect Here, you. Let me do so it. So if you have the chains, you go behind the blue. Yep. Um, or behind the person that is there. under blue. <laughs> there. That works too. You match. Hey, Gusty, something you could do if you're if you're position wise, just move out radially from that. That way, someone still can kind of be behind the blue. All right. Radially in or out, yeah, just yeah. side, side, side to side. Yeah, it, but if you see a purple circle around anyone that's here, um, just move. Like if I've got it, move beyond the purple circle, but behind me, and you can see the chain right there. It'll show you where to stand. <laughs> I am dispelling them as fast as I can, but three people get it, and uh, I, I have a cooldown on it. Okay. That I understand that better, thank you. Nelson tends to cast those purple circles of fear immediately after we have the runaround. So um, when we're breaking apart from that third one and, and returning, make sure, t t if you can, everybody just spread out for to see who's got the circles. Yeah, see, we're, we're sort of trying to stay together because we have the, pa the anima powers that if you're grouped up, you get a buff. But when you get the circles, you have to move out. So generally speaking, this fight is you want to spread out, but we're trying to clump together a little bit to get the buff from the uh, anima powers. Yeah, if we could just immediately after that thing, yeah. try to spread out so we see who's got it or not, so that we aren't fearing each other. Mez wants a marker. Give her a cute marker. Mez uh, deserves a cute. At what point do we, do we get like too many markers? It might be a little... Well, let's it, take away the blue raid marker since it's on Gusty, because that's where they have to be. They've got to be behind Gusty and or behind Mez um, or behind me. All right, is that all right? 
You all right with that, Gus? You want to? We'll just try to stand I'm behind you. Sure. Okay. Still got a position in the same spot. Right. And, that's, and so now it's less confusing, I think. If someone's trying to run to the blue square, they don't run to the wrong blue square. Mez, do you do you have the uh, tower also? You said you did, right? Yep. Okay. So. Okay. So either the moon or the square will be your stand behind them. Shall we go? We've got about five minutes. All right, last pull. Let's make it a good one. Don't stand near me. Transition. Transition. Incoming. Two. Oh, wish Damn I had it. it for the first one. That was really far away from everybody. I'm so sorry. Oh, it was on Mez, thank goodness. Because my mark mark disappeared. Yeah. Three, two, one, yeah. two, one. This is coming. I got chains, don't worry about it. Transition. Intermission coming. Or transition, In sorry. I guess you keep losing your mark. Yes, that's the, the game's doing it. Yeah, I don't know. High energy, one. Transition. Transition.
ears. Keep it up, guys. Well done. We're it's getting there. Me. We're getting there. Hey. Don't forget your warlock cookies. <laughs> Spears. Some professor. All right, and rage is incoming. Spread out. High energy. One. Oh, we think we're gonna get a transition too. Maybe. No. Yes. We are, but no. No. All right, he's enraged. Kill him. Rebirth on style. Very down. Pick him up. No, oh, never mind. Uh, we don't have one. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Well, I definitely found having mirror image up when he enrages helps, because that gives him another target to go after. Five percent? Oh, four percent. That last ten percent, if you're a healer, this just stop healing. Shall be your eternal <laughs> but only until... Only after you guys died, then I went bare. Only after the tank, yeah, after the tanks died, then I... Yeah. Once the tanks are dead, just stop healing, just switch and hit it with nothing but DPS. Wow, 4%. Great, That's great awesome, try, everybody. though. Excellent, though. Excellent job, guys. All right. That's it for the night. I'm kidding. Instead of trying to bear, I could have gotten him from a distance, and we the dots might have got him. So, but it was so close. That was really so close. That was supposed right. to happen. I mean, he was hitting for 52k. Yeah, that's yeah. that's yeah. He, he enraged his damage. He enrages, his damage goes up 500 percent. Faces everybody around and kills you one at a time until he dies or you die.
Oh, gotcha. Oh, shoot. Hence the another couple of people really would have helped, so. Hey, but that was a huge jump between the previous time. Oh, yeah. We went from 54% to 4%. Awesome. We were thanks, Kyle. Kyle. Thanks, Baylor, for coming and joining with us. Uh, yeah, Baylor and Kyle, yeah, thank you very much time. for joining in. Uh, we appreciate having you. We'll, take, we'll have you anytime. Anytime you guys want to join, yeah. uh, feel free. Well, we were going to do the super, the super uh, dungeon tonight, but it didn't happen, so. Ah, I haven't been there yet. Oh, right, Good luck. Yeah. I unlocked it, but I haven't done it. Uh, Port Oribos behind you guys. Yeah. Oh, and that's behind where? <laughs> Are you back at the beginning? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll be right there. Oh, well, good night, everybody. Thank all you. Right. Thank you. Good night, all. Thank you. A lot of fun. Good job. Think, good job. I, I think we got, you know, got it. So. Yeah, I think yeah. we, we it's, just need more. It's a numbers game at this point. You get two or three more DPS, you get a fourth healer, and you'll be fine. Thank you. And style, yeah. your tanking was was. Yeah, style, style, excellent job. Excellent. Yeah. So you want to tank for us every time? <laughs> oh, I would. I would love to. Anytime you guys are on, I'll. Uh, what 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 is your normal raid time? Saturday night. Saturday nights eight to eleven. Uh, Sunday nights uh, eight to ten. Okay. Yeah, I'll try to make myself available. That would be great. Hey, can we get him on the maybe uh, the calendar I, or invite list or something? I will put him on the uh, the calendar. Great style. Hey, thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you would like to transfer to the Libertas Co Guild, that's that's the home of um, our raid DOA. 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 <laughs> DOA, which DOA. I was just. I'm sorry. I'm on another raid team, and I almost said that instead. That's wrong. Um, so Libertas is the co-guild, and that, that just means that um, we're all in the same co-guild, and the guild bank, the last two tabs, are uh, reserved for raid teams if they that is their home. Um, other than that, you can stay in your current co-guild, and um, if, you know, but co-guilds, really, if, it's just a convenience for raid teams, really. <laughs> yeah, mats, right. and also the legendaries. Yes. Although... There's, I think there. I've seen at least one that that they put like 190 legendary things. There you go, Gusty says he's gonna drop. All so right. That way you can get an invite to him. Just uh, whisper me when you're ready to come back in the guild. Oh, um, you're in the wrong guild, Gusty. I'm in the wrong guild, so I'm yeah, gonna hop out and go other. back to my uh, <laughs> to my Libertine <laughs> character, and I'll invite you, Style. Okay. I'm actually gonna be moving Gusty over to <laughs> Libertine. Gotcha. But I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Not everyone. Okay. Right. So I left. Um, I'm ready whenever you are. All right. Logging in now. Did I spell style beef right? Yep, you got it. Saw. There you go. Okay. I did that right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Okay, and promoting you to DOA raid team. All right, you should also be on the calendar for the rest of the month. So, when you're in the game calendar, you'll be able to accept the invites, and then when we do them on raid nights, we'll get them automatically. Oh, yep, yep, I see him. Good night, everybody. That was enjoyable. All right, good night, Thank man. Thank you.
it it was very enjoyable. <laughs> oh, it's it's just fun, you know. You, I I love playing with it's you guys. It's more enjoyable really when do. we down bosses, but we came really close. Yep. Yeah, it's just to me the the low expectations tonight really made the difference. Well, uh, our raid team, we are our, our, the founder of the raid team uh, is taking some time off for some personal reasons. So we had several weeks where we did not uh, meet for raid and then we hit the patch 9.1, you know, expectation that it was coming out when just everybody was taking breaks. And so some of our folks have not come back um, and you know a couple have decided to stop playing wow and so we're just we we're not uh, we're down several people and uh rusty <laughs> and uh, looking to rebuild yeah so, there's some rusty uh, and and new faces and people getting and used to faces. each other and all that stuff so and we are really excited to have some new people yeah it's great i'm 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 glad i don't why side decided to pick me but hey <laughs> Because you're brilliant, and that's you know, it. it's Hunter's Rule. Hunter's Rule, that's why she, that's probably it. Where is stupid? I hate that all these out, little outclothes in the heart of the forest look the same. Yes, yes, they do. <laughs> um, I just look for the one with the um the banner because that's the one that goes to your table mission table and that's also the one next to the mailbox banner 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 the big blue banner with the winter queen sigil on it it's next to a door it's one of the doorways and there's a big blue banner. And so I just navigate with that. And then that's opposite of oh, the ramp that goes back. up to the outside. Okay. Yep. So I just, I like scan my camera around and when I see that, okay, cause usually I do my mission table first and I can check my mail and sell to Laughlin who sounds like Matt Mercer. Uh, and then probably for good reason. And then the that banner place is directly opposite from the ramp up to the flight point. And the flight point is directly above Merasmius and your mushroom network. Where is the... And the entrance to uh, where you buy... Entrance like, to the conservatory. Goodies? The downstairs. Okay, so directly in front of the banner is the entrance to go to the downstairs part with Cecily. Yeah, that's the one. I'm... And the entrance to the conservatory is down there to the right. What was it downstairs? No, it was upstairs. Yep, you no go wonder down I can't find ramp. it. <laughs> oh, you're right. Yep. Yep. And so that's where you you buy your um, you turn in your mana thing or anima things. Right. And then there's the raid, raid goodies. If when we start getting them again, and then the entrance to the the portal to the conservatory is in there. I never noticed the banner. See, learn something new every day. I am terrible with navigation, and somebody else told me that too, and I'm like, really? I never noticed it before? <laughs> All right. <laughs> but I can never find the little thing where your anima conduit is. I, I have to, like, run around madly to be like, oh, it's that side. I always, because it's, like, just around the corner where I can't really see it. Oh, it's immediately to the right from the banner. That's where it is. But from, from where I'm usually standing, it's hidden. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. Put these two. But 
but you know when i've got the innkeeper the mailbox and the banner identifies those are close by and and my mission table so that's what i usually do first and uh so that's what i look for what do you do in the mission table? I, you know i really haven't found a whole lot of use for the mission table don't worry about it 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 gives you small more amounts of anima missions it gives you small amounts of cash missions um and uh some it can give you gear and uh trinkets but they're if you're raiding then they're not uh upgrades <laughs> i use it for gold and for the runes which i use to sell for more gold hey there you go and you get occasional pets and you can get a little bit of soul ash Yeah, I I do runes too. That's true. I like sell half and keep the other half just so that I can not be embarrassed when a raid leader says, "Everybody use your runes." <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. They're worth a lot on the auction house. <laughs> But I really started doing it because it sometimes gives you pets like the conservatory. Oh, so well, see, that's what I'm saying. These are important things. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I switched over to Coochie. Did everyone else proceed to go and do the uh, special quest? Did I miss uh, that? No, everybody kind of just scattered in. Uh, so I decided we'll oh. do it. I'm sorry. I really wanted to do it. Do you, can you do it with just two people, or do we want need a group? I'll do it another time, just so uh, more people can have a chance at it. Okay. Yeah, I'd really like to do that. And that's very nice of you. My apologies, but uh, getting a new person to join the raid team made me very, very happy. <laughs> yes, always. always. Yeah, that's a priority for sure. <laughs> It's really nice when we have people who agree to come as a guest and to help out. That's that's very encouraging. It actually makes you feel good when they stay, when they decide, hey, this is this group's good. We'll stick around. Yep. I have no idea which of these spirits to pick. Which of these what? Oh, it gives you get a quest reward? Uh so I'm in the Queen's Conservatory. And I have to pick a spirit to put in the pod to have it have it uh oh. hatch. Well, yeah. I don't know it, what they do. It it's pretty random. I've tried I, I think there might be a specific thing, but frankly, um they will give you either some fish, some meat, some or or some other reagents. And I haven't really been able to uh, I keep like taking notes to say like, oh, is it always Revendreth that gives me meat? Uh, but it doesn't seem like a specific There's house. No rhyme yeah. or reason to it? I, I, I want to think that there must be, but I, I mean, well, once you, once you click on them to get the satchel, <laughs> you can't see which one it was. No. <laughs> I don't write it down ahead of time, but one week I did all Revendreth and they dropped different things. So I'm like, okay. Um, and sometimes the only thing that I know for fact is if, like the Revendreth ones, there's a Revendreth pet that you can get, Maldraxxus, Maldraxxus pet, you know, there, there, there are different pets that the Conservatory and the Abomination Factory and the Tea Party and, uh, whatever the special thing is on bastion um each of them has a special thing that you do like the conservatory and there are the same pets that you can get from all different factions but they're random from doing whatever that special thing is uh oh and gear you get like gear transmog gear transmog appearances oh okay yeah i got a I got spiky shoulders tonight. They transmog. Oh, but that was in the raid, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a raid one. 
So the conservatory, you can sometimes get... I think I actually get a weapon weapon a couple times, but other times I just got appearances or... It's, it's mostly appearances from the different factions and and it's it'll drop a revendreth looking thing will drop from the the prideful and blah 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 like each house and uh so it's mostly transmog pets and uh mats random mats and you get higher quality ones and the quantity uh, so uh, I take depending it on how much you upgrade it yeah, so I think it the higher the Queen's Conservatory is, the more the better stuff you get out of the seeds. Yeah, the better qual and and the when you get when you enable it, when you level it up, um, eventually the little like seed pod spots beside it, you start getting these. Uh, uh, do you have like temporal leaves and wild seed root grain? And wild night bloom, are those dropping for you yet? Catalyst. Not yet. Okay, so you get those, and those go in like little, um, uh, little planting, like be beside the seeds. There are little places where you patches of earth. Mm -hmm. So those three things you can put beside your seeds, and you have to put them in before you put the um, spirits into the seed you plant something in those patches of earth and they do different things um temporal leaves causes it to um be done sooner takes it cuts a day instead of three days you can get it in two um wild night bloom will cause the stuff in your bag to have um increases the yield of crafting material so instead of four fish you'll get six fish and then the wild seed root grain um, will increase the quality of the rewards offered. So you'll get, you know, better, you know, rarer things. So you can choose faster, faster seeds, better quality loot, or more quantity loot. And uh, I have to believe that as you have better conservatory stuff the, the stuff that you drop um, is more likely that you'll get pets and transmog and you know so towards when you get the end there are special th I think there's a mount when you get the f when you get it fully unlocked that it will randomly drop for you so it's useful for mats but not incredibly useful uh, and so it, it's more like a, a fun side thing like the tea party yeah and the abomination thing although some of those abominations have genuine utility that's wonderful <laughs> yeah I, I keep getting the uh i need to go back and do that again too on uh on my other character because it I keep getting the uh the flesh dropping I must have 1500 of them now oh well chances are you need 2000 <laughs> for whatever you want to do with it <laughs> I, I'm afraid I don't have a Meldraxxus so I don't know what it's used for specifically or how many you need. Command. Yeah, so Summer of Love, we're planning right now, and there's going to be a really cool. Um, you usually start it so with a uh, guild, like, you know, kind of 45 minute state of the guild and talking about mm -hmm. stuff we've done. 
Um, and Max has created this super awesome convention space uh, on a uh, VR platform. And uh, so people are going to be, you know, it's not mandatory, but people can download, can either watch it on the stream or if you download this uh, program, simple, you can actually go into the VR space and walk around in there and interact with stuff. And he's got dice that you can roll. He made a 3D image right. of Good the night, AIE please. symbol. And I think...